Let us solve this problem. Solve for x for number 1, 3 is to 5 is equal to x is to 10. Okay, so we have ratio and proportion. So to solve for x in this ratio and proportion, we must equate the product of the means and the product of the extremes. So we have 5 times x or simply 5x equal to product of the extremes 3 times 10 or 30. Then solving this equation for x, we simply divide both sides by 5. Canceling out 5, x is equal to 30 divided by 5 or 6. For number 2, we have x is to 4 is equal to 3 is to 6. Again, let's equate the product of the means, 4 times 3, that's 12, to the product of the extremes, 6 times x or 6x. Then, we can solve for x by dividing both sides by 6, canceling out 6, x is equal to 12 divided by 6 or 2. Next, for number 3, we have 8 is to 9 is equal to 4 is to x. Again, let's multiply the means, 9 times 4, that's 36 equal to the product of the extremes 8 times x or 8x. Then we can divide both sides by 8, canceling out 8. x is equal to 36 divided by 8 or we can convert this into lowest term. So the GCF of 36 and 8 is 4. So divide both the numerator and denominator by 4. 36 divided by 4, that's 9. Over 8 divided by 4, that's 2. So, the value of x is 9 halves. For number 4, we have 3 is to x is equal to 7 is to 5. Again, let's multiply the mean 7 times x or 7x. Equate it to the product of the extremes 3 times 5, that's 15. Then, we can divide both sides by 7. So, canceling out 7, x is equal to 15 over 7. Next for 5, we have 5 thirds is equal to 10 over x. So this time, if the ratio and proportion are uh, written in terms of fractions, this time we can apply the cross multiplication. So we can multiply 5 times x, so 5x, equate it to the product of 3 times 10 or 30. And then, we can solve this equation for x by dividing both sides by 5. Canceling out 5, x is equal, so 30 divided by 5 or 6. Next, x over 4 is equal to 6 over 9. Again, applying cross multiplication, multiply x times 9 or that's 9x. Equate it to the product of 6 times 4 or 24. So we can divide both sides by 9. Canceling out 9, x is equal to 24 over 9 or we can uh, transform this to lowest term. The GCF of 24 and 9 is 3. So we can divide both numerator and denominator by 3. 24 divided by 3, that's 8. Over 9 divided by 3, that's 3. So the final answer is 8 over 3. Okay, now it's your turn. So try to solve these problems and just comment your answers.